G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and today I want to talk a little bit about or well, continuation of um, our previous tutorial. Uh, previously we talked a little bit about full adders. Now full adders uh, calculate I guess the sum of two binary inputs. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, adding and subtracting on the same system. You'll notice it's a little bit fuller than the previous one and if you don't know um, how this white section here works then please uh, check out the previous tutori tutorial on uh, full ladders and you'll learn a bit about those and how they work. Also, if you want to learn a bit about the binary that we're going to be using in this, um, we'll go over that in the previous tutorial. I'll leave a link to that in the annotations and in the description, just so for those who have uh, are on devices and such to be able to link there easier. Moving on. Um, also, a note, because we have two functions here on the same system, that work out calculations because they are working with calculations and because there's two functions this is actually a um, a very small I guess a, a partial ALU an ALU is some, a, something that um, does the I guess sum of different things it uh, calculates um, it does like ands, ors and things like that of the different um, the the inputs and whatever you want to do with it. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about ALUs in the next tutorial, but I just wanted to let you guys know that this is actually technically a um, a very well I guess a watered down version of an ALU. Now you you may be noticing I'm building on it. I'll be building on it uh, step by step just so that you guys get an idea of how the ALU works um, because the ALU is a very complicated uh, piece of redstone which needs, I guess, a, a bit more time and effort, which is why I'm, I'm talking about the various functions in separate, uh, as separate. Now this uh, this thing here has a toggleable um, add and subtract function. Very easy to toggle, we just uh, need to invert this thing, it's currently on subtract, that's add. So subtract and add. So there you go. We'll work with add at first, just so that you can get an idea that it still does the full adder functions of previous. Um, but next time, don't be surprised if we start doing more ALU stuff. And I'll add a list like I've done here of all the different functions that the next one will do. If it's adding, if it's ending, whatever. Yeah, so let's move on. Let's do a, a basic function. This is a 4-bit input here, and we can work out what numbers we're working with by adding up these numbers here. This line here for both of them is 8. This line here for both is 4, 2, and 1. So, like, if we wanted to do, I don't know, let's say 7, we'd do 4, 2, and 1. If we wanted to do, I don't know, uh, 11, we'd do 8, 2, and 1. Things like that. So, let, maybe let's do something like that. Let's do maybe uh, 8 minus 7. Oh, no, sorry, 11 minus 7. So, and we'll put it on subtract. And we've got, what, 4. So, yeah, 4 is 1, 0, 0, or 0, 1, 0, 0. You can tell that also because it's 8, 4, 2, 1, so that's 4, which is right. <laughs> now let's try something else. Let's do a, a positive thing. This is, goes beyond the scope of our, um, our thing. These probably will all be, yeah, the, it carried over, so it would have been um, 16, 18, it would have been. Um, what have we got? 7 plus 11, yeah, 18. So because we don't have an extra bit here, um, you notice the carry input here is on. So that would have been it would have gone to the next uh, one of these. So yeah, we've only got a four-bit system here. If you want to calculate larger numbers, you need to use more bits. But currently, yeah, this is all we need for demonstration purposes. And they're not hard to make. Like they're not really not hard to make. If you watch the previous tutorial, you'd be able to agree with that. You just need to know that you can stack them quite easily. Um, this works in nicely with the bus, that's why I prefer this one wide system to the um, other ones that are out there. But yeah, let's move on. So, you've probably noticed the main difference between the subtractor system and the adder is this blue, these blue sections in this green line. Now this green line, as we talked about, is the uh, switch to invert it between adding and subtracting. Uh, let me just explain how that works. Pretty much, these blue sections here are actually um, XOR gates. This uh, XOR gate is a creation of a guy by the name of Rock Polish MC. 
I'll leave a link to his video. It hasn't got many views at all, actually, but I'll leave a link to it. And yeah, just um, if you're curious about it, it, it doesn't show you how to build it. Uh, I'll show you how to build it in this one, but he basically just shows the, the thing and yeah. <laughs> so this is the XOR gate. This is our normal input, so this is where it goes on and off regardless of what the top is doing. So like if this input's on, this will invert it. If the input is off, this will invert it. So yeah, it works really nicely for what we'd, we want to do and it's one wide, so very practical. And the green input takes place of this one because this block here needs to be powered. We can't, uh, if if uh, we were doing it a little bit different, we could probably just power it from above. But because we need this to power as well, as you can see here, that gets powered through the block. So our input needs to come in from there and power this block. So a repeater would work perfectly because it will power that block and that dust. So we've got basically a green input which we've got here, which goes comes through and powers um, those blocks to power the redstone on all of them, and that's what um, inverts the system. So it'll invert whatever input we've got, uh, regardless of what the input is. And because it's an XOR, even if we've pulled the lever once, we can um, <laughs> invert the inputs again. So like that's a that's on, it's now off, sort of thing. And also, you need to realize that um, the blue input has to be our first input because of this. Um, because of the way we've done it, the uh, the blue input is our first input. So if you're going to do something minus something, then that first digit, the first thing that you minus, needs to be the, the blue one. Um, because that's what you're inverting. You're inverting your first input, not your second. Otherwise, you might run into problems. In fact, you will run into problems. Well, now let's look at how to build this thing. It's really uh, not overly complicated to build. We build. This is our input here, which we will put a torch here to invert. Um, but it won't. Don't worry about that too much. We're going to invert it again with other parts. Place a block here and here. Uh, we'll go there as well, and then build like so, so you've got like kind of a, a stair pattern going backwards almost. Four blocks on top here, with one hanging off one side and two off the other, and that's it for our building. Next we want to place a torch here and here, with the redstone dust here, here, and there. And that's it, that's our XOR gate. Put that there, and a piece of redstone dust there. Now for our green input, Really simple repeater and redstone dust, and that's it. Now for the output, it's exactly the same. We extend one out though, because we need the repeater. The repeater needs to be there, because otherwise you can't get the signal to go through that block there. You just power that block, and, and nothing will happen to the the redstone dust won't pass through. So anyway, let's move on. It doesn't matter at which order you build this, as long as you build it. Uh, to the specifications of the system. Four across the top again, and two up. And this is our output. Torches here, here, and here, with the redstone dust in, like so, and that's it. And that's our output. And we're done. Really simple to make, and uh, yeah. So I hope you were able to understand this. Like I said, next time we'll look at a bit more about how to make ALUs, um, adding more functions and stuff. I wanted to add to it gradually, just so that it'd be easier to understand, and so you wouldn't have to wa watch a uh, half-hour episode on adding an adder, then a subtractor, then ending, and all this sort of stuff, and all the various functions that you can do with an ALU. And this way, it's a little bit easier. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've uh, found this useful. I hope you can in, you uh, can use this in your redstoning, and I hope you are now a little bit more comfortable with um, adding and subtracting. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. But stay tuned for the next one. Like I said, next one's going to be more exciting because we'll be looking at the ALU itself and probably just adding the AND and OR and other functions to it. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah.